At first light, the final push. With tanks on the move and convoys at the ready, it was the hour Kurdish Peshmerga fighters have been waiting for. At 0700 today, three convoys advanced towards the center of Bashika from three fronts. The town of Bashika, which sits just about 25 kilometers northeast of Mosul, has been encircled by Peshmerga fighters for weeks. On Monday, as ISIL targets in the town were hit by artillery, ground troops began their march, as Apache helicopters and even Predator drones flew above. Special forces searched block by block and fought house by house. Peshmerga commanders told us the fight was just as tough going as they had imagined it would be. Just a while back, more than 10 suicide car bombers were destroyed by the U.S.-led coalition airstrikes and Kurdish Peshmerga forces. Still, they were not deterred. Peshmerga fighters tell us that they've retaken most of Bashika now, but even where we are right now, which is about 2.5 kilometers from Bashika behind me, that's the eastern front into the outskirts of the city. We've been seeing a convoys of Peshmerga fighters driving in there throughout the day. Even at this hour, we're still hearing heavy fighting going on, street battles, gunfire battles. There's been airstrikes happening as well. So it seems at this hour, the fight is still intensifying. A conflict that continues, even as these fighters insist its end is near. Mohammed Jamjoum al-Jazeera on the outskirts of Bashika.